Hello and welcome everyone to our training today. I hope you're all happy and healthy and you found a good place to be in your garden. So my name is Vera and we will do some sports together today. And as explained already, it's four times one exercise. We have 12 exercises in total. And um, yeah, there are different levels. I have a computer here as well for a timer. So just ignore me if I'm every now and then on the screen. You don't have to have a screen. We start with a little warm up. Just uh, yeah, use your hands and make some movements with your hands. And um, also the other way around, just to make them all nice and warm. Continue with the elbows, big circles. And the other way around. And now continue with your shoulders, nice and big circles backwards to loosen all the muscles, all your neck. It's usually very stiff. And now we take the elbows up as well, so you move all your upper part of the body in big circles backwards. I just turn myself so you can see how it looks from the side. And now very gently just uh, move your upper body to the left and to the right. Your arms hang loose. You don't have to do anything right now. It's just to, uh, moving your back a little bit. Now we go to the feet. You take the right foot and make circles. Um, make sure that you, the rest of your body is straight. And also here to use the other direction. And now we go to the knee, so you make circles with your lower body, uh, with your lower part of your leg, and the other way around. Try to have the rest of your body as still as possible. And now we use the hip. So your hip itself is very still, but your leg makes a big circle, always from the inside to the outside. And now we swing forth and backwards to warm your muscles. Great! So now we use the other leg and again you start with the foot. Just make some circles in one direction and the other direction. And now we go up to the knee. Big circles. And the other direction. This is just to warm up all your joints and muscles. And again the hip. So you have one leg and you try to keep the rest of your body as still as possible. As you see this is my bad side so I'm wobbling. <laughs> but just try to be as stable as possible and back and forth with the leg. Not as wobbling as me. Great, now we do some circles with our hips. So just make a huge circle and be gentle with your back, so don't push it too much. The other way around. Fantastic, and now we move the upper body. So you take your hands to the elbows and just make big circles. Be careful to not get dizzy. This is a very slow movement and uh, make the other round as well. So you have both ways, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Great, this was to loosen up. So yeah, now you can just shake everything a little bit and we start to bring up our cardio. So you start with small steps and you can uh, pretend to be a boxer and just have some little uh, pushes in the air. If you has, have neighbors, just take it gentle now. Otherwise, we go full speed, full speed, full speed. Come on, come on, come on. Just give it everything you have as fast as possible. Great. And we come down again and we start with um, cr uh, making circles with our arms. Don't st stop moving and the jumping jacks. If you have neighbors living underneath now, just be 
yeah, try to not be too noisy, <laughs> but this is the only noisy part, I promise. This is a very efficient exercise to bring up your cardio. So we can also make the jun jumping jacks frontwise. Um, but in the end, it's just important that you keep moving. Great. So our first exercise I will show you is um, the squat. So when you're doing a squat, it is very important that you have a very stable stand. I'll show it from the side. This is wrong. So just moving with your body is wrong. But what you do is that you have your hip as the center point and you push it down. Your back stays straight and your knees stay outside. So going inside with the knees is wrong. You go outside with the knees. This is right. I'll show it from the side again. So you have a straight back and your hip follows, uh, your, your hip starts the moving down. You try to have your upper body as straight as possible. I will start the timer now with 30 seconds. And we're all in this together. So one, two, three, go, one. Your own speed, we have 30 seconds now. Try to keep your um, knees outside. Your upper body is as stable as possible. And I show it from the side again. So your back is straight. Be careful with your back. Okay, and done. Perfect. We've got 10 seconds break. And we continue in a couple of seconds and go. Come on, that's already 15 seconds. You can also put, lift your arms up if you want to. That makes it a little bit harder for your upper body. Okay, in the last five seconds, come on. And done, perfect. 10 seconds break. And again, we start now to make care of your knees. 30 seconds. This is the third round out of four. Don't forget to breathe. Perfect, you're doing it, you're very good. I can't see you, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, done, 10 seconds break. And just, uh, yeah, you can move your legs a little bit and you're doing a great job. Last but not least, go. Last 30 seconds. Okay, take care of your knees. Bring your hip all the way up when you're coming up again. And you should feel your legs already a little bit. And the last 10 seconds. Great, you're done. Okay, the next exercise I'm going to explain is called the prisoner. This is a, a very uh, efficient um, exercise. So you start on your knees, your arms are in the air, and then you just stand up and you go down again. You stand up and you go down again. First one with one leg and the second round with the other leg. So. Take care that your knee, if, if it's too hard, you can also use your arms to get up um, and to get down again, so we don't want to injure you. Um, what you should not do is put your knee inside because this is very, very bad for your knees, so don't do that. Okay, when you're ready, we start in three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Up and down and up and down. Your upper body is as still as possible. Don't forget to smile. I'll show it from the side as well. Your shoulders are down. You're always using the same leg. And 
Done. Last one. And done. Very good. Next 10, 10 seconds break. Now we take the other leg. Two, one, go. And up and down. You can also use the same leg twice. This is up to you. But it's important to have both legs twice. Make sure your knees stay outside. We don't want to injure them. And the last five seconds. Come on, come on, you can do this. And done, perfect. You can shake your legs a little bit. This is going to be exciting and exhausting. And we go down again and start. Now you take the other leg again. Your own speed, of course, the more fa the faster you are, the more heavy it is. Keep your shoulders down and your upper body as still as possible. And the last five seconds and last one and done. Very good. Loosen yourself a little bit, last break, and we have the last round for this one. In two, one, go. If you're still freezing, I'm doing something wrong. Take care of your knees. They always have to point a little bit outside. Oh my God, this is getting exhausting. Don't forget to breathe. And the last 10 seconds, come on, you can do this. And finished, fantastic. This was great. So our next exercise is called the mountain climber. Um, I will show you how it looks like. So your, L, uh, your shoulders are above your hands. And what you do is that you pull your knee to your arms. So it's like you're climbing up a mountain. And here again, this is very important to have your back straight. So don't be too much up or down. And um, the, your back is straight, your stomach is straight, your ass is tight, and then you can climb the mountain. If you're fast, it's more exhausting. If you're slow, it's less exhausting. So the speed is up to you. And when you're ready, we start in one, two, and go. Go. So try to have your shoulders above your hands. I show it from the front as well. So it's really just your legs moving. Come on, last 10 seconds. Very good. The speed makes it harder. And three, two, one, break. 10 seconds of breathing. And two, one, get ready. Pull your knees up to your arms. Have your back straight. Come on, you can do this. And a little bit more, another 15 seconds. Come on, come on. And the last five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Great. It was the second round. You can take a little break. Loosen your muscles a bit, breathe, get ready. And two, one, and go. Very good. I'm proud of you. It's Saturday and you do your exercising. All right, come on guys, the last 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and you're done. Great. 10 seconds break. And uh, get ready for the last round in one, 
to start. Very good. This is the last 30 seconds of this exercise. Don't forget to breathe. Your shoulders are above your hands. Very good. Come on, the last five seconds. You can do this. And you're done. Excellent. Hope you're feeling good. That was our third exercise. And last but not least, we are uh, not last but not least, we're not done yet. <laughs> we do the sit ups. I'll show you how it works. So um, you lay on your back, you have your um, 90 degrees angle in the legs, and then you just pull up with your um, shoulders. The first one we go straight, the second one we go left and right, the third one we go also left and right, and for the fourth one you put your um, hands underneath your bump and push your bump up. All right? Not that hard. Looks easy. I just have to pull my computer a bit towards me. Otherwise, I can't see the timer. Okay, ready when you are. And go. So 90 degrees angle in your knees. 90 degrees in your hips. Your shoulders are never touching the ground. Come on, that was the first 15 seconds. Try to have your legs still. And just don't forget to breathe. Okay, the last five seconds, come on. Two, one, done! You can take a little break. 10 seconds. Okay, get ready. And we go from the left to the right. Very good. So your elbow goes to the direction of the knee and the di diagonal. Your shoulders are not touching the ground. And you smile. I can see you smile. Okay, the last five seconds. Come on, come on, come on. And you're done. Okay, get ready and we start again from left to the right. Breathe, smile. Last 10 seconds. Very good. Come on. And three, two, one, break. In the fourth one round, you put your arms next to you on the ground and you lift your legs up in the air and we move the bump. 30 seconds. It's a small movement. Don't expect too much, but it's really good uh, to have a flat tummy. Just a little push with your bum. Last 10 seconds. Breathe. And three, two, one, done. Excellent. Oh, take a little break. <laughs> that was very good for your stomach. And now we're doing the same for the back. So we'll go swimming. Um, you're laying on the your stomach and we will do this movement as if you were in the swimming pool. In the, in the second round, we go up. So you have your arms like a shape, a U shape. In the fourth, uh, and in the fourth one, we, okay. The third one is swimming again and the fourth one is the U shape. Sorry, that was too quick. Anyways, we start, you lay down on the ground and we start swimming. Uh, you have your legs up and start. First 30 seconds. It's important that your um, shoulders are not touching the ground. Your feet are in the air, your legs are in the air, and you're training the back 
So it's a very big movement with your arms. Another 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and break. So now you put your arms like a U shape next to you. And now it's a small movement where you lift your upper body. Your legs are in the air again. And we start moving um, with our arms next to us like a U shape. And yeah, it's a very small movement, but it's a very efficient one for your back muscles. Another 15 seconds, come on. Brilliant, come on, last five seconds. And two, one, and break. Great. So the next 30 seconds is swimming again. You have your legs in the air. And we start swimming now, all together, come on. We don't want to drown. Don't forget to breathe. Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Just keep swimming. Another 10 seconds. Yes, it's exhausting. Yes, it's good for your body, but it should not hurt. So as soon as something hurts, please stop. And we make a break. Perfect. So the last 30 seconds in this exercise is again the uh, U-shape. Getting ready and up. Your legs are in the air and you just have a small movement where your shoulders are moving off the ground. Very good. Another 15 seconds. Okay, come on. Last five, very good, and you're done, fantastic. So there's only one more exercise before we take a break. You can stretch your back a little bit, bit and breathe, because our next exercise will be my favorite one, it's called the plank. So this is a very simple one, um, you're not moving at all. All you do is that you're on your elbows and you have your body very straight and you hold this position. So you're not down with your shoulders, you're up, you're not down with your bum, you're not too much up, so it's really like a plank. Your knees are sucked up, so your um, bum is tight, everything is tight. And you just hold this position as long as you can. I will tell you when there's a break, but if you don't need a break, you can as well just continue the plank. And we start now. Make sure your shoulders are away from the ears. So I'll just show it from the front as well. You're um, very stable. Your bump is not too much high, uh, high in the air, not too high in the air. And uh, you can just hold this position um, as long as you want to. If you want to take a break, uh, it's another two, one, zero. You can take a 10 seconds break now if you wish. Otherwise, you just continue to hold. It's up to you. If you made it make a break, we start again now. So now we have the next 30 seconds. You can as well go on your knees if this is too exhausting. But if you are on your knees, make sure there's one line from the knees to the hips to the shoulder. Great. Another 10 seconds if you want to take the next break as well. And three, two, one, break. Just relax a little bit, go on your knees if you wish like, wish to. And two, one, continue. Very good. Make sure you have your bump tight. And your legs tight, basically your whole body is tight. And another 10 seconds in this third round. Did you know that a minute planking is longer than a normal minute? <laughs> and break. 
10 seconds break. If you make a break, you continue in one, two, zero. Last 30 seconds, my friends. Come on, you can do this. It starts to shake, it starts to hurt, but it's super efficient, it's really good, and it's a workout for your whole body, so you can just win, as long as you're not uh, hurting your back. So make sure everything is tight. For the last 10 seconds, come on, we don't want to injure ourselves. This is really, really mean, and I start shaking. <laughs> Two, one, and done! Great! Thank you, guys. So this was our first six exercises. You can take a break now. You can loosen your muscles a little bit. You can drink something. I don't know if you've got some water with you. And um, yeah, I will shortly explain you the next exercise as well. But don't worry, you can take a little break. So our next exercise is called uh, catching the hamster. The hamster is hidden under the cupboard and um, it wants to see the sky. So what we do now is a side plank. You are moving to the side. You have your um, hamster in your hand. It's under the cupboard and it wants to see the sky. So it's very important your shoulder to roll up and down. If this is too exhausting, you can go on your knees as well. This is perfectly possible. And it's important um, to just, if it's too exhausting as well, you can also just hold. It's important to have your shoulder over your hand, so just hold. You can also hold on your knees if this is too exhausting, but it's important to have one line in your body. Okay, ready when you are. We continue and go. So the hamster's in the air, under the cupboard, in the air under the cupboard. Again, have your bump and your stomach muscles tight, your shoulders over your hand, and you're rotating your back. This is a very good exercise for your core, and um, it's very good to prevent back pain. And it gives the hamster fresh air. And we take a break. We switch to the other side and we continue in two, one, zero, go. Again, make sure your shoulder is above your hand and you're rotating the other shoulder. If it's too much, just go down on your knees. If it's still too much, just hold the position and stop the rotation. Another 10 seconds. And we take a break. Great. So we switch to the other side again. Make one line with your body, get ready and continue. The next 30 seconds. The hamster is a little bit dizzy already because it gets so much fresh air. And you're rotating your back. Another 10 seconds. And two, one, zero, and you're done. Fantastic. This was our next exercise. So what we are doing now is um, called the, oh, no, sorry, we have one more. Um, the, I forgot the fourth side. <laughs> Counting is very difficult, I'm sorry. So I hope you just continued and ignored my talking. I've never done sports this way, so this is uh, my first time as well. <laughs> Another 10 seconds. <laughs> Make sure you open your shoulder. And two, one, done. Great, now we come to our next exercise. Uh, this is called the half bridge. And um, what we are doing is that we are laying on our back. And um, you put your hip, or you put your knees um, above your feet and you put your hip up 
and down and up and down. So you have one line in your body and your bump is tight. You put your hip up and down. If this is too easy, you can also lift one leg. The exercise is the same, so you're putting your hip up and down. Um, and in the other round, of course, the other leg. But you can also just do without uh, straight legs, or you can just hold the position if this is too much. Great. Two, one, we start. So we've got three different levels. You can either lift one leg and put your hip up and down. You can have both feet on the ground and put your hip up and down, or you just hold the position and um, yeah, have your bump tight and breathe. Another 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and uh, break. Okay, the other leg, and we continue in one, zero, go. Another 30 seconds. Especially for the women, you have the idea that you suck all your organs in. So this is a very good exercise as well for all the inner muscles. So you have your bum tight, your stomach tight, and you just suck all the organs in. And now you can actually take a break. <laughs> And uh, shake your legs a little bit. We continue in two, one, zero, go. Very good. Another 15 seconds. You lift your hip up and down. And breathe and we take a break. Fourth round for this exercise. We continue in two, one, zero, go. Very good. You should feel your stomach already a little bit. Or maybe your legs, it depends. I hope you feel something. Um, we have another 10 seconds to go. Okay, come on, last five seconds. Three, two, one, zero, and we're done. Excellent. Our next exercise is called the Swiss knife. So a uh, special hello to Simon from Switzerland. Um, you have your hands pointing towards your feet. You go in a table position and you can either just hold it like this with your hip up to the ground, uh, to the sky, or you make the Swiss knife closing so you have one leg and the other one and the, and the hand touching each other. Very important to have your hip up all the time. All right, we can get in position and we start. So your hip is up and your left hand touches your right foot and the other way around. If this is too much, you just hold the position with your hip up pointing to the sky or to the ceiling if you're indoors. Some people also call it the crab because it looks like a little crab and we take a break. But I like Swiss knife better. I show it from the other side as well. We continue in two, one, zero, go. Don't forget to smile. So always one hand touching the foot or you're just holding it. But you try to have your hip as much up as possible. And another five seconds. Two, one, break. Very good. Hope you're having fun. Another three, two, one, we continue. And 
and breathe. Put your hip towards the ceiling or the sky. And another 15 seconds. Don't forget to smile. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. One last time, my friends. Then we are done. Another four seconds of break. Ready? And go. Okay, you see that my bump is almost touching the ground. This is not so good. Put them put it your hips up to the ceiling to the sky. But I know it's exhausting. Come on, the last five seconds. You can do one more. One last time. Come on, come on. Push it. Push it. Very good. And you're done. Fantastic. Oh, this is actually really exhausting. <laughs> um, our next exercise is um, standing up again. And you have your shoulders down, your arms to the side. And all you do is small circles to the back. I show it from the side, so your shoulders are away from your ears and your um, everything is tight and you just make small circles backwards. It looks very easy. It's actually the exercise I hate the most. Ready? And we start now. Okay, you have uh, your feet as wide as your hips, your arms are straight, you have tension in your arms, and you just make small circles backwards. Another 10 seconds. Another five. And first break. Loosen your arms a little bit. Getting ready. And we continue in two, one, zero, go. It's a very, very small movement, but you have your arms st uh, straight and tight, your stomach and bump, your legs, everything is tight. And it's, uh, yeah, it looks so easy. But we go for 10 more seconds. Very good. Go on, go on, and we take a break. You can loosen your body a little bit, shaky, shaky. Getting ready in two, one, zero, start. And breathe and smile. Maybe it burns already. For me, my shoulders burn. I hope yours as well, otherwise I'm disappointed <laughs> of myself. <laughs> no, it's just I think everybody has one exercise which is very hard for him or her. So another three seconds and we take a break. You feel your shoulders already? Make some movements and we continue in last 30 seconds. Come on, be with me. Very small circles, and you smile. It's just another 15 seconds. You can do this. Your arms are getting heavy. Come on, come on, come on. The last three seconds, you can do it. Two, one, done. Excellent. Wow. Because our arms are now warm, uh, we can do the classic. We can do push-ups. So most people know how that works. I'll show it, but of course, anyways. So again, one line with your body. Your shoulders are above your hands. And you can also go on your knees if you want to. This is no problem at all. And then you do a push-up. Very important, your elbows do not go to the side. I show it from the front so you see what I mean. This is wrong. Your shoulders are not going to the side. Your shoulders are going towards your feet. 
I know they do it different in the movies, but it will hurt your elbows. So always remember to put your elbows in the directions of your feet. You can either be on your knees or you go on your feet. This is totally up to you. And we start together. Come on, 30 seconds of push up. Be one line in your body or go on your knees, but still be one line. And sh your elbows are pointing towards your feet. Try to look to the grass, so don't look to your feet. Another five seconds. Three, two, break. Okay, very good. God, this is exhausting. Getting ready and continue. Very good. Try to not look on the ground. Try to, uh, not on your feet, try to look on the ground. This is better for your neck. And push up. Come on, push, push, push. Another 10 seconds. And we are done. Fantastic, so we have 10 seconds break. Breathe, get ready and continue. Again, it's very important to have the line. Have your bump tight, your elbows point towards your feet. And we have another 15 seconds to go. You're doing a great job, come on. Last seconds. And you're done, fantastic. Take a deep breath. And last but not least, continue. This is the last round in the push-ups. Try to be as straight as possible. You feel your arms burning, you feel your shoulders burning. You will hate me tomorrow when you have sore muscles, but this is really, really good for you. Come on. Last seconds, five, four, three, two, one, done. Excellent. So my friends, we're coming to our last exercise. We stand up again and this exercise is actually more for your balance. So it's called the standing scale. You are one, um, you're standing on one leg and then you put the other leg back and you come in front you put the leg up again and the leg backwards. So you're doing 30 seconds on one leg and then 30 seconds on the other leg. I show it from the side as well. You um, have always one leg and you're going straight towards the ground. All right, ready when you are. And go. It's a very gentle exercise. It also brings your pulse down a little bit but it's very good and important for your balancing. Very good, it's a slow movement. Another 10 seconds. And first side is done. Loosen your body a little bit, we go to the other side. And um, Continue now. It might be that one side is much wobblier than the other because usually, usually you have a chocolate side. So for me, the first side is more easy, it's easier. But anyways, we are doing a great job. Another 15 seconds. Come on, take it easy. This is our last exercise for today. And break. Very good. We come to the other side again. In three, two, one, start. Thirty seconds. Very slow moving. 
Very good. And there are five seconds. Two, one, and break. Ten seconds break. We're getting ready in three, two, one, go. This is my wobbling side again. So don't be distracted. But um, yeah, just enjoy how your body is working and how you feel all the muscles everywhere in your body. Another 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and we are done. Great. I hope you had fun. This is our exercising for today. We're going to do a little bit of stretching now. So you can just roll your shoulders. You can breathe a little bit. You can be happy that you're sweaty and done and ready for the day. Shake everything. And um, we take one leg, so you have a stretching in your leg. Just try to stand still and feel how your muscle is stretched. We take the other leg as well. You can also hold on to something if uh, this is too wobbly, that's no problem at all. You can take a ceiling, uh, the wall or a piece of furniture or a tree or wherever you are. Okay, we let go. Now um, we open our legs and you feel the stretch in, in the inner side of the leg and we lean forward. Just try to be stable. You go towards your left leg, hang loose and you go to the right leg, hang loose. Feel the stretch and you come back to the middle and roll up slowly. Now we close our legs and with a very straight back we go down like in a table position so try to have 90 degrees but it's more important to have your back straight so if you don't have 90 degrees it's no problem but have your back straight and now we let go and hang loose um, if possible you can touch your feet but or the ground but as you can see i'm not able to do that <laughs> and we roll up now we stretch our arms and we take um, one arm to the side and push with the other arm against it. You should feel a stretching in your shoulder and we loosen and use the other side as well. Feel the stretch in your shoulder, very good. And we're letting go again. Put your right leg over your left leg and lean with your right hand towards the side so you feel the stretching in the side. Breathe. Loosen again and put the left leg towards the right leg. Put your left arm in the air and stretch the other side. It looks like a half moon. And we loosen again. And uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it was the first time I did it this way, so I hope you had fun as well and take care and goodbye.